The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, also known as the Mormon Church or LDS Church, is a Christian denomination with millions of members worldwide. But what do they believe in? Hey, it's Dan Zimmerman. Welcome back to Illustrate to Educate. In this short video, we'll dive into the most important details, including their history, practices, beliefs, and just about anything you'd need to know about Mormonism. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints was founded by Joseph Smith Jr. in upstate New York. In 1820, when Joseph Smith was 14 years old, he reported having a profound religious experience known as the First Vision. According to Smith, he went to a grove of trees to pray and seek guidance about which church to join. He claimed that in response to his prayer, he was visited by God the Father and Jesus Christ, who told him not to join any existing religious denomination as they were all corrupt. In 1827, Smith claimed to have been led to a set of golem plates buried in a hill near his home. These plates were said to contain a record of ancient American peoples and their interactions with God. Smith translated this record, with the help of seer stones, into what would become the Book of Mormon, which was published in 1830. The Book of Mormon is considered by Latter-day Saints to be a companion to the Bible and a second witness of Jesus Christ. On April 6, 1830, Joseph Smith officially organized the Church of Christ, later renamed the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This marked the formal establishment of the church. The early years of the church were marked by considerable persecution, largely due to their unconventional beliefs, practice of polygamy, and rapid growth. This persecution led the members to move from New York to Ohio, then to Missouri, later to Illinois, and then after the martyrdom of Joseph Smith on June 27, 1844, Brigham Young led the Mormons on a challenging trek westward, seeking refuge from persecution. The migration culminated in the settling of the Salt Lake Valley in what is now Utah in 1847, where the church is currently headquartered today. Next, let's look at their beliefs about God and Jesus Christ. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints believes in the existence of God, who is understood as a separate and distinct being from Jesus Christ. They believe in a Godhead consisting of God the Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost, each of whom is a separate and distinct personage. Jesus Christ is central to their beliefs and is considered the savior and redeemer of humanity. Mormons believe that through Christ's atonement, individuals can be forgiven of their sins and achieve salvation. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has several sacred texts. The most well known is the Book of Mormon, which is believed to be an additional volume of scripture alongside the Bible. It is said to contain the religious history of ancient American peoples with whom God called prophets as well as a record of the visitation of Jesus Christ to the people on this continent after his resurrection. In addition to the Book of Mormon, they also consider the Bible to be a sacred text, but believe that it may contain errors due to translation and transcription errors. Other important texts include the Doctrine and Covenants, a collection of revelations and teachings received by Joseph Smith and subsequent church leaders, and the Pearl of Great Price, which includes additional writings and revelations. Let's take a look at some of the most essential practices of the church. Two-hour worship services for the congregations are held on Sundays and typically include sacrament meetings and alternating Sunday school and auxiliary meetings. Temples are considered sacred places and only church members in good standing are allowed to enter. Key ordinances such as baptisms for the dead and eternal marriages called sealings are performed in temples. The LDS Church practices missionary work extensively with young men starting at age 18 and women starting at age 19 often serving as full-time missionaries to spread their faith worldwide. Family is highly emphasized and Mormons believe in eternal families and being sealed together for time and eternity. This belief encourages activities such as family home evening or family night, where families gather for religious instruction and bonding time. Note that the church officially renounced the practice of polygamy in 1890 and has not been practiced by the church since. Some of the key beliefs of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints includes having faith in Jesus Christ, repentance, baptism, and receiving the Holy Ghost. There are a multitude of other ordinances such as the sealing of families together in temples for time and all eternity, meaning that they will live with their families in the afterlife for forever. Mormons believe in performing ordinances for the dead, including baptisms for the dead which involve performing baptisms on behalf of deceased ancestors who did not have the opportunity to accept the gospel during their lifetime. 
This is why there is a strong emphasis on family history within the church. The church places a strong emphasis on personal revelation with members encouraged to seek guidance from God through prayer and study. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is organized in a hierarchical structure that includes various levels of leadership and administration. This organizational structure is designed to help manage the affairs of the church, provide spiritual guidance to members, and promote a sense of community. Here's an explanation of how the church is organized. At the head of the LDS Church is the First Presidency, which consists of three senior leaders, the President of the Church and two counselors. The President is considered the prophet, seer, and revelator, and is regarded as God's representative on earth. The President is chosen through a process of seniority, where the most senior member of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles becomes the President upon the death of the previous President. Below the Quorum of the Twelve are the Quorums of the Seventy, which are comprised of general authorities who assist in the administration and governance of the church. The presiding bishopric oversees the temporal affairs of the church, including its finances, properties, and welfare programs. At more local levels, there are stakes like regions with stake presidents presiding over those, and then stakes are broken into wards or smaller regions with bishops presiding over those. Did you enjoy this video explaining the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Illustrate to Educate to support more simple and objective videos on topics that matter.